Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on this channel we talk about fragrance layering and various fragrances that are in my collection. And we just have a chat, a good old conversation about smelling good and just leaving your presence by fragrance. Uh, if you are enjoying these type of videos or you are a return subscriber, I greatly appreciate you. And for everyone else, come follow me on Instagram. You'll be on all my channels. And on Instagram, I do talk about what I'm wearing daily. Uh, on here, I kind of go more in depth about each one of the fragrances and the ones that are in my collection. Today's topic, we're going to talk about the Dua line. So if you haven't heard about Dua fragrances, you need to get into them. I use Dua as a extra large uh, decant. It's pretty much how I use them. And today I want to talk about the dual fragrances that I have that are more floral. Fragrances you can wear in springtime. Uh, ones that I reach for uh, on the weekends if I just want a fragrance. They are inspired. It, it is an inspired line, I will tell you that. Uh, but they have some great um, individual fragrances too. If this is something that you're interested in, then stay tuned. All right, so let's get into it. I want to first start off, I know that the, it's about to be about the dual fragrances, but I have two other fragrances for florals from different lines that are on the same caliber uh, that I want to mention as an honorable mention. Uh, let's start off with The Shadows. The Shadow is inspired by um, a Jovi Gold by Barreto, right? So this fragrance here is a wonderful wonderful close dupe it's very airy you get the magnolia the violet the sandalwood is in here the ambergris this is if you want to try out what majovi ghost smells like then i say you should go get this one here which is the shadow uh, you can find it on um, etsy under the name louisiana aroma all right another one that i have that is an honorable mention but is a beautiful fragrance is by Gen um what is it joanne joanne's perfume or Genovi's perfume well i think it's joanna's perfume and it is red carpet affair red carpet affair is another great floral because it is inspired by angelique noir by grulon this <laughs> this one is amazing i love this one when I find the notes, um, I'll list the notes to it. But this is another honorable mention if you're looking for a fragrance that is inspired by. Then I say, we'll go get this one here. All right, my very first one, and I'm going to do them based on uh, just as I'm reaching them. There is no particular order uh, for them that is as I'm pulling them off the shelf. So as I go through them, I'm turning off the camera and then go and get me another one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we're going to do it today. Uh, this one here, the very first one I want to talk about is called Her Aberration. Her Aberration is inspired by uh, BDK's uh, perfumes, Posse Soir, right? And the reason why I like this one, and it's an easy reach for me, is I want the original. I want the original. So how, again, how I use these is a very an extra large decant. So I get the fragrance because I find that dual fragrances are the closest to the original. And I can try it out. And if I like it, then I go get it. Well, I really want the original of this one here. So I had it as a sample. And it has that same citrusy tartness open. And then the dry down is a powdery, sweet elegance. Both her aberration and the original posse so I has that same feel to it. It's like a tart, a tartness from oranges and what you get a spiciness in from the ginger. It is it's gorgeous. It has an orange blossom. So all the notes are so similar and so familiar that it made me want the original. Like I really want the original. Uh, so of, don't be surprised if in one of our chats you hear <laughs> that I went and got it. Um, okay, the next one that I have was a fragrance that I did have the original for, um, and I just never reached for it. I just never really reached for this fragrance. Uh, this 
one here is called Her Majesty Oud. Her Majesty Oud is inspired by uh, Royal Princess Oud. Royal Princess Oud, the reason why I did not reach for it, uh, the original Royal Princess Oud, is because it was a fragrance I only could wear in, when it was cold, right? So I try not to get too many fragrances like that that I only can wear in one season. So to be able to get Her Majesty Oud was my opportunity to keep it in my collection without having to have the original bottle. Because uh, this is a on the nose dupe for it. You get the oud, you get the woodiness, you get everything you're looking for in Royal Princess Oud. Great. All right, the next one that I have is inspired by uh, Initio's Psychedelic Love. I love that one. <laughs> Sorry to have to put the two loves together, but I actually love that one. And I just, I don't know what it is, but I haven't, I haven't got psychedelic love yet. Um, and probably because I'm so fond of aphrodisiac. Af aphrodisiac by Dua is such a close dupe. Again, I want to say that I have gotten the decant of the original. So when I say I compare the two and I feel like this is a on the nose dupe, it's because I've smelled them both together. And, um. With Dua, I find that you can actually, for more of an affordable price, get the more expensive ones. Uh, this one here has that same heady opening, that enticing headiness of helotrope and myrrh and Bulgarian rose, right? It has the same opening. It's really good. And then the dry down is the sandalwood, the patchouli. Um, it just... It's cozy. It's a gorgeous, cozy scent. It's not too complicating, but complicating enough. Uh, and it's aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac is a right on the nose dupe for psychedelic love. So if you all right, but the next one I have is called Abstract Elixir. Abstract Elixir is one that is inspired by Maz um, Mazanique Marlano's El Tessa, right? And the reason why I have this one versus having the original is they both have that lipstick me vibe, like a lipstick, like a lipstick you would put on. That iris note in both of the fragrance is like lipstick uh, with a touch of champagne and bergamot. Um, I do not get the leather in it. I just get lipstick. Red lipstick. <laughs> That's what I get. And it's not one that I have, I could truly say I'm fond of it enough to go spend the cost to get the original. So I'm still working my way through this one, and it's abs, um, abs, Abstract Elixir. Abstract Elixir. All right, the next one that I have is uh, called Miss Mobster, right? So Miss Mobster is uh, the one I got, honestly, for packaging. <laughs> I picked this one up for the package. The package looked cool, so I, I actually really enjoyed it. And found out that it's inspired by Ranja Perfumes Enigma Perfume. And that was one that I was trying to get my notes on. I've heard so many people talk about that fragrance. And I was like, oh my God, I want it, I want it, I want it. But the price point was the only thing that was stopping me from getting it. So luckily, I found Miss Mobster. Miss Mobster by Dua Fragrances gave me the opportunity to smell it. And it's worth the hype. It smells delicious. This one here, the standout for me is the peach, the rose, the ylang ylang, that vanilla, and the amigris, right? Uh, it was so good, I went out and I found a decant. Um, and, and my decants are inside of that golden uh, jar right here, so I didn't, I didn't want to break it down to take it out. But this is a very close dupe. Uh, uh, don't get me wrong. Um, Ranja's is is elegant, is gorgeous. So it would be one that if you do decide to get Miss Mobster and you like it, then you probably should get the original. Um, it's close, but it's not on the nose. But what is so femininely sweet and inviting in it is that it's like an, an energetic type fragrance. It's that peach, neroli, bergamot, heliotrope, in rose, right? That's the opening. So that opening that you get is so 
ladylike. It's so feminine. It's so classy, right? I really do enjoy this one. So for me, Miss Mobster is an opportunity to smell like that fragrance without having to pay the price for it, right? All right. The next two that we're going to talk about are ones that they have discontinued. They've archived. So please, if you like any of these, particularly the one that I'm about to tell you about, go on the website, DuraFragrances.com, and vote to bring this one back. And the reason why I want this one to come back is simply because of the fact of the original, which is Shanghai Lily. It's no longer sold by Tom Ford. And I love that one so much. I have it in so many different decants. I have it from Royal Scents as a decant. I have it from the decant shop that I like to go to online as a decant. That's how much I love that fragrance. So when I realized that Dua had this had an inspired version of it, and I, I don't even want to butcher this word, but I want to say is uh, she in, I'm not sure. I'm going to write it. <laughs> I'm going to write it at the bottom, how to pronounce it. I know the last part of it is floral. Please go online. And vote for this one to come back. Uh, they discontinued it and had it at $33. I missed the sale. I don't know how I missed that sale. Because I would have bought like four of them. Just so I can have them in my collection. But I missed it. Um, when I went on just now to find the notes of it. And to tell you about it. Uh, I realized that you can vote to return it. To get it back. This, if you liked Time for Shanghai Lily. <laughs> then you will love this one. Because it is a on-the-nose dupe for it. Because it has that same spicy opening. The clove, the floral notes, the incense, the uh, black pepper, the pink pepper. Uh, this was the fragrance that had tuberose in it. And with all those spices, I was like, oh, I am not going to like this. But when I got it, it does magic on your skin. It does absolute magic on your skin. And I'm talking about the original. So if you have the same love for the original with the Latimer, the Cashmere, the Cashmere, and the, all of the notes that's in it, vote to get this one back. Right, the last one that I have is another one that you can vote to return. It's no longer in there uh, on the website. But please go and vote if you are interested in this fragrance. It is called Fashionista. Fashionista is inspired by um, Mesquite Marlano's uh, ta Times Square, right? Uh, this one here is, is, is very close. I find that for those, um, some of the fragrances um, that are more complex, more um, the actual original put a lot of more thought into it, the type of notes that they put in it which is what makes the dual fragrance not exactly the same, but similar. So this is one of the ones that are similar. So if you have been interested in Times Square by, by that line, but you, wa you wanted to kind of test it out like I did, then get Fashionista. But again, this is no longer on the site, so you probably can find it somewhere else. But just go vote. Go on the website for dual.com and vote and have them return it. Uh, so back to their collection, the violet, the hazelnut, the tuberose, the gayak wood, all of those are very similar to the original. So that's what makes it similar. Uh, it's the particular, how much violet, should I say, how much violet, how much rose that was in the original that would make this just a close option. It's a beautiful close option. It is an absolutely gorgeous close. Uh, hello. All right. So we talked about dual fragrances and, uh, and this is how they come. We talked about my dual fragrances and these were just my floral ones. Um, I have a wide variety. I have a boozy one. I have Garbon. I have ones that are easy reach for me. Are those are the ones that you are interested in or you want me to kind of do a series on dual fragrances? Can tell me about it. Let me know in the chat. If you smelled any of the fragrances that I have discussed, then also discuss that too. Um, I always enjoy talking about my fragrance with y'all. Um, I wanted to get into something just a little bit different uh, to give options for where people can get fragrances and not have to break the bank. And I think Dual Fragrances does that. Um, I'm, 
I'm enjoying this. I hope you are too. I am so looking forward to seeing you in the next video.